So I've been doing some programming in C lately, um, not C++, just plain old C, um, and it's been pretty interesting. I've been using the Raylib game library and just playing around, um, and I had this old book lying around, this C++ textbook from like 12 or 13 years ago, um, and I was reading through it. I thought, you know, maybe there's a possibility that I'd want to learn C++ given that it has certain nice things like dynamically um, sized arrays, you can make classes and object oriented type of programming. Um, but I realized that style of object oriented programming definitely isn't for me. And I don't think it's for everybody. Um, and I don't think it's exactly necessary, um, even for large programs. I think it's more of just a preference that you can have. Um, and something uh, kind of interesting um, in the C++ book um, is that it recommends a really strange way of dynamically sizing arrays. It, it recommends the delete and new keyword, um, which is as opposed to like what most people recommend is STD or standard colon colon vector. Um, they recommend standard vector. Um, and so it's like those standards change pretty frequently as far as what they recommend. It seems like in C++, there's a lot of ways to do the same thing, essentially. Um, and if you do one thing, somebody's going to tell you you're, you're wrong and you need to do it this way. Um, and you should import, you know, this template or, or the other. Um, and it's just a lot of different features. It's a very expressive language. Um, and it's just it's a lot, basically. Um, with C, um, and hopefully you can see here with this book, it's the original, the OG, uh, Brian Kerningham and Dennis Ritchie C programming language book. It's, it is literally 200 pages. It is, I believe, less than a tenth of the size of this textbook. Um, it is to demonstrate the, the, sh the sheer uh, scale of just the amount of content that a C++ book entails and the simplicity and just the the reduced number of features in the C programming language itself. Um, there's there's not much to C. It's very, very bare bones. Um, and you're very close to the hardware, which it, in a very good way, um, you are learning on your own how and where like memory is allocated. And using malloc and free um, is, you know, like a C, C++ programmer would scoff at using like, ma you know, memory allocated and freeing it for, for a, a dyna dynamic sized array where you don't know the size of the array at runtime. Um, where it's being added to and deleted to dynamically. Um, but it's actually not so bad to use malloc and free. I mean, you have to be very careful with it, but, you know, I would almost rather malloc and free than, like, ch have to choose between, you know, okay, this t old textbook recommends, you know, new and delete for, for creating dynamic arrays, but then, you know, everybody online says STD vector, um, and then other people say different things. STD, uh, you know, array. There's just std this std that and it's and it's just too much for me so i prefer c um i'll show you my game thing i've been building i like raylib it's fun um there's a there's a ray gui a really nice graphical uh intercept what do you call it an immediate gui and an immediate rendering um system um that you can integrate into your game as a menu system and uh you can see in this next footage um some of the examples, um, more more like tools. These are tools um, uh, rather than like stuff for games, but it still interrupts with Raylib just fine. This is the, it's basically like a single header file, literally like one header file, you know, raygui.h that you um, just include in your game. And then you can have access to these like buttons and this graphical um, interface. In this footage, you'll see the game you just saw on the left hand side and then on the right hand side I have a separate file where I'm basically just trying to create like a play button and a quit button and it doesn't really work I kind of don't get them aligned very well but um, I'm just basically creating like a menu system um, and then hopefully maybe like an inventory system too like using those buttons so yeah just to circle around with what I was talking about earlier as far as C++ um, this is probably a quote from somebody but um, if you're an expert and you're really good at C++, um, you're an expert at C++. If you're an expert in JavaScript, you're an expert in JavaScript. But if you're an expert in C, you're an expert at the computer. You're an expert at programming itself because you know how the computer works at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to continue using C. I'm going to keep malloc and freeing till I die. So that's it. Peace out.